hey there everyone ravindra here back with another video we are continuing the c sharp tutorial series and today we are going to discuss about delegates in c sharp if you find this video helpful then please hit that like button if you haven't subscribed this channel then please hit that subscribe button also so let's get started without any delay so what are the delegates delegates are the types which holds the reference of a method or multiple methods so delegates are the representatives of the method and these are useful to achieve callback mechanism in c sharp so let's see what is callback mechanism so here we have two methods print sum and sum so if i want to pass this sum method here i cannot do that i am not allowed to do that for that we need a delegates that will hold the reference of the sum method then we will pass that delegate here so that's how callback mechanism work in c sharp it does not work directly now we will create a delegate so it will be delegate it will be an integer type same it should have same signature as the method so we are going to create a delegate for this method so we need the same signature and same written type so here int and it will be some delegate int a int b or you can either write int n1 int n2 it doesn't matter so it is our definition of the delegates now what we will do we will write here some delegate some handler equals to method so now we have assigned this method to this delegates now we can easily pass even if i do not write it here then i also can pass this delegate here some delegate and del handler let's name it del handler now this del handler can be used as a method let me define you so I'm just going to write here console dot write line. Okay. Sum of A and B is del handler A comma B. that's it now we can create here the handler of this delegate and i can call this print sum method which is asking me two variables two integers so i'm going to pass here 4 and 8 and it is asking me the handler of a delegate so it is the handler i'm going to pass here some handler okay so let's run this program and let's see the output so here sum of 4 and 8 is 12 so delegates are used to achieve the callback mechanism it means you can pass function as a parameter with the help of delegates so that is it about delegates now we will discuss about anonymous method so i'm just gonna write here anonymous method i 
and i'm going to tell you what is anonymous method actually we are not going to the definition part we will actually perform it by what it is examples so right now we are creating a method here and assigning this method here but i can also achieve it with anonymous method rather creating a new method i will define anonymous method here like this delegate and int a int b which will return a plus b and it will require a semicolon here also so let's see i hope it will work fine so it is called using anonymous methods okay and let it name some handler one some delegate and some delegate some handler equals to some actually it was the previous one that i am going to comment here so that is fine and remove this some handler one here so that is also fine so it is the way by which we don't have to create a new method and that method will be handled by this delegates sorry replaced by this anonymous method so rather than creating a new method we can also create anonymous method here and assign that anonymous method to this delegates so it is called anonymous method here so it is also working fine we have another way to do to deal this scenario and we can actually do it also like this using lambda function we can also done it with lambda functions mm, if i write here three and here nine that it should be some handler one and rather than this anonymous method we will create a lambda function here a comma b it will return return a plus b that should also fine let's run this program sum of 4 and 8 is 12 sum of 3 and 9 is 12 So now I hope you have clear understanding about delegates and anonymous method and lambda functions in C sharp. I hope you enjoyed the video and you have learned something from it. If you find this video helpful then please hit that like button and share it in your colleagues so that you can support me. That's it for now. We will catch up in next video.